Okay, what's up guys? Gaming Link Kiwi here. Back here for round 11 NRL 2023. Uh, before we get into that, let's go back and recap round 10. Coming into the round, we were 6.6 units up for the season, thanks mainly to the large win from the Tigers last week. Uh, as far as the green lines here representing our tippings, uh, we got the Raiders correct and the Broncos correct off to a fantastic start of the round, and that was as far as we got. We should have just retired on Friday and been that's enough boys to be going to bed. Uh, we did say this was just our change rate. We always throw away our change. We put our change on the Rose here because they're our team. We didn't really expect them to win, and they didn't. The Dolphins, we've been riding the Dolphins all season, and it was Wayne Bennett's 900th game. Well, you know, yep, 900th game. As soon as we seen that, I was like, damn it, we should have backed the Dolphins. If I didn't have the Sharks in the parlay down here, I, I would have swapped that bet over on the day, but because we had the Sharks in the parlay, it wasn't worth it, even though, yeah, whatever. So we lost that one too. Uh, Rabbitohs, unbeatable, unstoppable, just rabbit invasion incoming. We're, we're going to do a video on this shortly. Just, oh man. I think we're just going to be tipping the rabbits for the rest of the season. Uh, Tigers came through for us with a big victory. Good on you boys. Uh, Roosters lost in horrible, horrible, horrible fashion. Uh, both of these teams, Roosters here and the Panthers here, neither of them have, have shown us, like, would not have, haven't been impressed with either of these two teams. And quite honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if either one of them misses out on the top eight this year. Uh, the Eels also lost for us. And again, like, I, they, they better start to rattle and roll and make it to the top eight. I, I still believe they will make it, but not good signs. So as far as the tipping is concerned, only three out of eight this round. Uh, not 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 my best performance, obviously. But we, we were up six point six units. That's what we hear. That who cares about the tipping? The bets is what we're after. But um, unfortunately, well, fortunately, the Broncos got the business done. The Roosters fell over, so that we lost a unit there. And the Sharks also lost, and the Eels lost. But so that that unit was double destroyed. Half a unit gone there. But the Tigers did win, and they were paying about two point five. I know it was 2.5 when I put the bet down. I think they went a little higher than that even at one point. So that, that paid. We didn't make anything, but that paid for those other two parlay units that we did lose. So really the only money we lost this week was the change we'd chucked here on the Warriors, which again we didn't really expect to ever see again, but we almost did. They almost pulled that off. Uh, so we're still up 6.3 6, uh, 6 units for the for the season so far. So let's carry that round to round 11. And we're just going to put this up here. Uh, for the season, 6.3 units so far. Alright, let's get into it. Uh, tipping. I was going to tip the Storm there at home. Because they are at home. Two, you know, if these if there's two big top of the table teams. Or even two, you know, two evenly matched teams going at it. We always tip or go for or bet on the home the home team. But the Broncos are paying double money. And it's not often. How often are you going to get the Broncos at, at double money, right? So for that reason and the fact that the Storm are missing uh, oh, at least one. I think it might be two of their front rowers there. I'm hoping the Broncos can capitalize on that and get the victory for us. So we've got our half a unit down here. Whoop. And if that comes in, we get the full unit back. Uh, the Warriors, so we're taking that unit, we've already spent it, and we're putting it down here on the Warriors, and if they come through, we get 1.6 units back. Oh my god, that's horrible. Uh, let's let's just quickly rewrite that, because eh? that came out horrible. So one unit, and that will equal 1.6 units if that comes through. Uh, the reason we are tipping the Warriors is because they're the Warriors. They've just been looking better all year than the Dogs, and looking better against better level competition than the Dogs so far this season. Both teams are plagued with injuries, and it is a dog's home game. So, you know, um, I wouldn't be too surprised if the dogs pulled off, but the Warriors should be good, especially with all the controversy around the, uh, the refs and and one New Zealand coming out and, and blasting, you know, that controversy over the, over the referee calls. I think the, the ref's going to be a little nervous to, to you know, I think they're going to make sure this game is refereed properly and probably even go against the dogs more than the Warriors, you know, the fifth, you know what I mean? There's just that extra spotlight on the referee in this round, 
and I think they know, you know, so up the Warriors for that one. Uh, Panthers versus Roosters, again, like I said, neither team has been showing me good signs all season. Uh, the missus does love the Panthers, so we're going to tip the Panthers for this round. And, you know, I, I do love the Roosters. But Panthers are at home, a close game. I'll probably be still cheering for the Roosters. But, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, you know what? You know what? Screw it. We're going Roosters. We're going Roosters. We're tipping the Roosters here. Uh, I just hope they can turn it around. And, yeah, yeah good luck, boys. Uh, rabbits against the Tigers. Uh, I did just say I'm going to be probably tipping the Rabbits for the entire rest of the season. But the Tigers just won me a lot of money two weeks in a row. I owe them. So we're going to put the half a unit down. And if they win, we get two and a half units back. Uh, do I realistically think they can beat the Bruce, uh, the Rabbits? No. But I feel like they, they, they won me so much money the last couple of weeks. How can I turn my back on them now? I owe them that. At least that's that's only half a unit we're giving them back. They won me 2.5 units last week. So why not, why not put that same... I'm surprised they're not paying more, to be honest. But they did, they did upset the Panthers. If they can do it to the Panthers, they could possibly do it to the Rabbits. But the Rabbits are just... Oh, they're on fire. We, we have rabbit problems here in the NRL. I believe that's it. Uh, this one, I'm going to go to Cowboys. They just looked fantastic last week, and they're at home. Uh, no injuries or suspensions that I'm aware of, so they should be good to go. Raiders versus the Eels. Uh, I mean, we, we love you, Eels. We're going to tip you, but I'm tipping with my heart and not with my brain enough here, I believe. The, the Raiders the Raiders are at home. We, I mean, but, yeah, we're going Eels. Just, no, Eels have got, there's no Moses. No, he's, no, he's got that seven-day stand down. He won't make it back in time for the game. Oh, oh, can they play? Raiders would be the, we'll just, we'll just go Raiders. Raiders would be the smart choice here. I hope the Eels pull it off, though. Uh, Newcastle versus Titans. Uh, Titans look fantastic in their game. They they, they smash the Eels. Uh, they're looking really strong. The Newcastle Knights are just coming off the bye, though. I think this is 50-50. I think this could go either way. Um, we're going to tip the Titans, though. Just because the Titans look so good. And the Knights, um, they just got a Ponga problem. If Ponga wasn't back, maybe I'd tip the Knights coming off that bye. Uh, I don't care that some of their players went to Bali. I mean, uh, the whole team should have gone. I mean, you guys are young. You're making money. Go go enjoy it while you can. Stop being so hard on these dudes. I know it's their job, but let them live a little. Come on. Um, but yeah, in saying that, we're going to tip the Titans just because Ponga, he doesn't seem to be gelling well with the team. They'd play better without him. And um, they're not, he, they don't seem to be putting as many bombs up for Young anymore. I don't know what's going on at the night. I can't wait till Young goes to the Roosters next season. Uh, anyway, let's move it on. And um, last and final, of course, we're going to tip the Sharks here. We love our Sharks. The baby blue. You can't you can't go bit wrong with the baby blue. And so we're going to put just over half a unit because I had like 0.1 of a unit extra again. So that, so we're half a unit on the Sharks plus our, our change. So we've got the 0.6. And if, and if they win, we get almost a full unit back. So that's that's our betting for this round. How much do we put down in total? Uh, one unit here, half a unit, half a unit. So it's two units, 2.6 units bet. So we had 6.3 minus 2.6 laid down this round. Um, oh, oh, here it is down here. All right, so we didn't quite spend the three. We, we spent 2.6. Maybe maybe to make that real, for, if we were going to put together a rough parlay, a rough, rough parlay. Who would the parlay be? Obviously Broncos, right? Because they're paying double money. When are you going to get Broncos at double money again? Maybe go Broncos. I wouldn't put the Roosters in there. I don't think I'd... Maybe the Raiders. Broncos, Cowboys. If we, if we were going to... No, maybe leave the Broncos out. They're on a hard game. Let's do the teams we tipped but didn't bet on. But not the Roosters. Let's go Cowboys, Raiders, and Titans here. Okay. Um, let's, let's put a little star up there. Cowboys, Raiders, Titans. And how much was it off by? I said three units spent. We only spent 2.6. So this point, point 0.4, I don't know how much it's going to pay on our parlay there. 
screw it, we'll go do that now. Um, that's it. Oh my god, we went over 10 minutes. I'm sorry guys, wasting too much time. That's us. Good luck. Hope everyone enjoys the games. Woo! See you later.